flare. Try to pitch. Get some distance. Oh, we got him! <laughs> yep. Yes. Let's battle. Let's battle. So, uh, the talent I actually really like. The only problem with the talent is like you're struggling with damage. So you gotta be super, 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 super careful with how much basically you miss. And then once you miss a lot of shots... There we go. But she's, she's accurate. Whoa! Whoa! Something just lit me the fuck up. A hurricane? What? Seriously? Yikes. This just got... This just got really nasty. <laughs> okay. Well, not much of, I won't be able to kill a hurricane, I don't think, so we'll see here. I'm not gonna beat that gimbal. So I can slowly pick him away. Pick at him. I have, do I have missiles? I do, but I'm not really gonna do much. Well, I might be able to get this guy because he's got cannons. So, I've got to be careful. Well, I don't want to go too close to him. I want to stay a little bit at range. Oh, I actually might be able to kill him because he's got cannons. On the other side, switch, switch, switch the other side. Now I desperately, desperately need engine power. I'm really struggling on engine power right now. Oh yeah, see I got a close pass there and I got really lit. So I gotta be very careful here. Yep, he's gonna try and keep slowly moving his way in. So I gotta punch out here, jabs through, keep my shields up. Which he is... Look at those size 2 shields, man. Like, they just come right back. That's another 7,500 damage I've got to somehow make up for. Making small again. Remember what I talked about yesterday? Less is more, right? Okay, so this is actual armor damage I'm doing to him now. Guns are out of ammo again. Switch back to shields because I got to get those shields up for the next pass. It's just range control. Attack on shields. Oh god. Give me gun power. Give me gun power. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. I love when it doesn't give me fucking power. Come on. Weapons. Fucking game. On. Unbelievable. I gotta restart my fucking... There we go. Lost all the progress I made. <laughs> okay, the hurricane just keeps shooting for like forever. Circle. Guns aren't recharging again. Come on, CIG. Really? CIG, please. 
Please give me fucking gun power. Are you kidding me right now? Here, let me turn my fucking guns off again for you. Do it for you. Unbelievable. Guns are recharging. It's like it it's like it wants to recharge whenever hell it feels like it. Alright. Lost all the progress I made again. <laughs> Holy! Let's uh, let's finish our fight here, Rogue. The thing is, surprisingly, you don't want to trade with the arrow because the arrow out DPS is the uh, the talent, right? So you want to just make make your small movements. I think. Okay, he wants to go the other way. I'm gonna bring him around this way then. And move in on him. My shields are down now. See? Shield yeah. Failure. It's over now. Again, right? Like, all the DPS in the world doesn't fucking matter if you can't apply it. And even though I have two shields, like, his shields are keep coming back. Again, right? Shields are back again. Whereas mine aren't. Yeah, his shields are back again. Oh, come on, come on. Might get him here. Might get him here. Might get him here. Ooh, might get him. I might get him here. There we go. I might get him here. <laughs> Holy. Oh, what do we got? What a fight. Um, what started off as a, a duel between myself and Rogue, uh, a Rogue of obviously being in an arrow, and myself in a Talon. Uh, we had this hurricane come out of nowhere and uh, I kind of want to take this opportunity to kind of talk about um, when you're when you're in a situation you know like a hurricane versus a, a talon you know what what are your options right what can I do and uh, what's what do you not do and what do you do right so this fight was going pretty well for me though I was taking some damage with the with the arrow and then obviously the hurricane showed up did some did some damage to me and I was able to get out just in time but um, when it comes to dealing with the hurricane in specifically, you have to understand two things. One, you're never going to win the DPS race, no matter how hard you try, uh, unless you're flying something like a, a Vanguard. Um, there's really nothing that can stop, especially when it's a fighter. I mean, there's really no, no DPS that's going to be able to trade. So never, ever, 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 ever trade with a hurricane. You will lose. Right? And by trading, I mean stabilizing your flight pattern and just kind of each of you taking shots at each other, right? You never, ever want to trade. So I'm going to come at this fight <laughs> from what's known as a kiting perspective, right? So luckily, on like luckily, thank God, um, the Hurricane was using uh, cannons because cannons are highly ineffective when it comes to applying damage at, you know, medium to long range. So, even though his DPS was much higher than if you were to just use repeaters, his damage application was basically 10% uh, of what it would be theoretically with uh, repeaters, right? So this is another kind of showcase. Is when I keep on when I talk to you guys on stream and I say like, hey, don't use uh, you know, don't use cannons for PvP. This is a perfect example as to why uh, you don't want to use cannons, right? Um, so 
more specifically, I want to talk a little bit about the, the, the pattern that I'm using to avoid fire, right? Now, the hurricane is trying his best to close the distance against me, but what he's doing is he's not really orientating the, like the belly of his ship in the right way. So he, he ends up sliding through, like right here, see how he's not rotating so his bottom thrusters are cutting across towards me? He's kind of just nonchalantly moving whatever direction his nose needs to go to get towards me, but he's completely unaware of the direction that his ship needs to rotate to so that he can use his bottom thrusters to kind of, you know, close the distance against me, right? Uh, if he had done that, I don't really think there would have been much of a chance uh, for the talent to win this fight. Uh, but... Um, when it comes to defensive flying against something like a hurricane, it's exactly what I was talking about a few days ago where I said less is more, right? Uh, you don't want to make sweeping movements, you know, and right here you see me kind of cor like corkscrewing to the right here. And then as I start seeing fire come in, right, then I corkscrew the other way, I cancel it, and then I go back into a right-handed corkscrew here. And again, right, I'm using up strafe the whole time I'm, I'm creating these, these, these deflection movements, right? So I'm dropping my magazine as best I can, bang, 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 and then I counter with the opposite roll direction, right? And I want to use my throttle so that I'm always making my pip, you know, return to center, which is a video I did yesterday, which is talking about returning the, the, the velocity vector back to center, right? So relative to him, my speed is actually lower than his because I'm making more movements in a tighter space. And what he's doing is he's orbiting around me, trying to shoot into what's called the bubble, which is the area of space that I'm moving around in. If you were to draw a bubble around me, I would be moving in a smaller bubble than he is. So his area of operation or his area of movement is much larger than mine. So what that allows me to do is as he makes these kind of movements, right? You see me roll to the right, then roll to the left. And again, as I tr like as I change my movement, right? Now I roll to the left, I boost into that movement if I have the boost, right? Uh, if I don't have the boost, you know my shield's kind of flared up there because I couldn't create enough deflection in, in a short enough amount of time. And so again, right into the counter corkscrew to the left, then to the right, you know, just to kind of help shake off any incoming damage. And I'm not pushing to sub 500 meters. In fact, I'm actually trying intentionally to keep him outside of 500 meters because with that turret and the gimbal cone of like 20 degrees, I mean, there is no possible way, there is no possible way that I can get close enough to avoid any kind of a damage application. And with cannons, I mean, he's got uh, a, a pretty insane amount of DPS. So it's not in my best interest to, to get close against a hurricane. It's actually in the hurricane's best interest to get close to me. But that requires him to manage his profile a little better, to manage his throttle a little better, and to choose points during the fight where he wants to what's called dive, right? Or make a, a rush towards me. Right now, he's still flying as if he can hit NPCs because... Quite frankly, NPCs don't make any kind of good attempt at counter maneuvering. So you don't need to get closer to people to do damage, right? And so what I'm doing is I'm constantly, constantly just kind of staying outside 500 meters until finally there's the kill. You know, it just takes, it just takes a long, long time. All right, so let's take a look at the fight with the arrow that we picked up right after this because uh, thankfully Rogue was kind enough to let me engage the Hurricane solo because, I mean, if, if Rogue would have jumped on me, I would have been game, set, and match there for sure. But during this fight, I want you to watch carefully my rotations to the left, then my rotation to the right, then my rotation to the left, and back to the right, and I'm creating this kind of seesaw motion. Um, I'm not doing it too quickly to make to make my aim you know, almost impossible to apply damage, but what I am doing is I'm just making enough movement to help make it as miserable as I possibly can for Rogue here to kind of get applied damage to consistently apply to me. And the whole time, I'm constantly trying to make sure that he's not applying damage to me until eventually we get into what's called a trade pattern, which is right about here. Both myself and Rogue have been kind of jockeying for position. He knows my shields are very low. I know his shields are down. 
So what's going to happen is we're both going to basically go into a very stabilized pattern. Now you can see he did the wing wobble there too as well. Roll to the right, then roll to the left. But he didn't do it very accentuated, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. But here you'll notice that we're not really counter maneuvering much against each other. We're, we're basically going st like straight in for the shots. And uh, luckily enough, I was able to get a little bit more damage on him because the shields were down as that trade happened. Um, but this happens a lot during fights, uh, and I call these trade opportunities. You know, and, and I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. You know, it's when both parties um, cancel each other's motion, right? So if you see here carefully, he's moving up on my screen, so I'm actually going to strafe up with him. So relative to me, like, I'm not really pitching my nose up that much. I'm, I'm strafing up so that his momentum and my momentum are basically 100% matched. And all I'm doing is I'm kind of easily moving my joystick just that last one or two degrees. But most of this cancel shot here was done by my left stick, which is my strafe directional stick. Uh, that was very low on in terms of the aiming uh, discipline on that kill, right? And these opportunities happen all the time. And when you see somebody canceling you doing that, the best thing you can do is notice that they've canceled your momentum and make a 90 degree movement off of whatever directional movement they're going in. So if we were to look at that again, you know, what we're basically looking for is as soon as we see the cancel happen and I don't want to be here or, or he doesn't want to be there, I would have had to move 90 degrees offset to where that kill took place and then strafe up in that direction to create an angular change against whatever direction he's going in, right? But... You know, it's just uh, I was lucky enough to get those shots on target and uh, and I, I walked home with the kill. But um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, pretty incredible fight. Um, did not expect to win against the Hurricane in a Talon. And again, right, one of the only reasons I was able to win that was because um, the Hurricane had cannons and uh, was struggling with distance control. Um, but if it had repeaters, that would have been a, probably a very nasty fight. I would have had to stay a lot further back. I would have had to really be careful with my profile, and you know, there's really not a good chance um, Talon's going to win against a Hurricane pilot. Uh, the Hurricane is just an absolute monster. All right, guys, that's it for today. This was a bit of a longer video, but these were really good fights, and there's some really good points here to drive home. So I hope you guys are entertained. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I also had a lot of fun with all you folks who come by stream, guys. You make the whole, you make this whole thing worth it. So thank you so much for all the love and support. You know, it really matters, right? Um, uh, take a look at predator mounts guys if you want to take a look at uh, the mounts that i use at the ones i use and they're fantastic uh, so use the code avenger one if you want to get five percent off and i will see all you folks in the next video i was avenger one and i'll see you next time